step to the side and get him under his behind him while getting this down. Welcome back to London Self Defense Academy. We've done a video a while ago which was about how to defend yourself if you're elderly with a walking stick or with a cane, right? And um, we got some complaints, unfortunately, that people couldn't hear them us properly. So we're going to do this video again for you. And we really hope that this is going to help you to find the right way to protect yourself if you had to. So this is a walking stick self-defense for elderly. Now, before we get to it, don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification button. So you get notified every time we release a new video. So let's get into it. So, how would you defend yourself with the walking stick? So now, as we know, this is the most standard one that you can actually get. You can adjust the, um, the length according to how you, know, how, how you need it to be, according also what your condition is, right? So, if you have this walking stick, how can you use it to defend yourself? Now, we obviously can use it as a stabbing weapon to keep someone away from us, right? So we can use it with one arm or with both arms to actually strike into different areas, face, torso, groin. If we have more space, we could definitely swing that around as well. So if he's coming towards me and I catch him before, I can, I can get him really nicely in the head in here, right? But it will really depend on that situation because if I try to swing it and he's too close, he's just gonna get me, right? And this is just not what I want. So the first scenario, let's use this as a weapon to strike and stab. So more of a stabbing weapon. So if he's coming forward, I can stop him here right now. So I can go one, two, three and try to get away. So this is the first scenario. Second scenario is if he's far away and I just can swing this around and get him. So. I, I'm aware of the danger, I kept my distance and I can swing him in the head in here, right? So this is gonna be really brutal and very, very hard. Now, as we always say, mind your surroundings, know that there is someone, know that there is potentially an attacker that is trying to get to you for whatever reasons. Be mindful of your surroundings. Second thing is to keep your distance. If I am not keeping my distance, if I let him get close to me, there is not much I can do, right? This is, this is a different situation. He can grab me, he can punch me, he can do whatever. But if you're mindful enough and you are able to calm your breathing down, you will be able to react by talking, right? You've got for sure more life, life experience than the other person. So what we can also do is to use this to get onto his foot. So when this is on his foot and I push him then, he's, go <laughs> he's gonna go as he just did, right? And I don't need a lot, right? Even if he's in a strong stance here, I can push him with two fingers and he's gonna go. So it will really not matter how much power you think you have or you know how powerful you feel this is really sort of the dynamics of the body if you stop one part of the body and push another one they just gonna fall right so now I'm trying to protect myself get my cane down on his foot and then push him forward you can see that there is not much he can do right and you will not need to generate lots of power so if he's far away and I have enough, enough distance in here to get him with this that's gonna be enough, yeah? I'm not necessarily saying that when he's on the ground, you should, you should keep going. That is not a very good idea. But you certainly try to get away and make everyone aware of the fact that you just being attacked. So if the situation already accelerated to the fact that I might be holding my cane in here, not down here, I use it as something to stop the attacker from coming forward, I might be able to step to the side and get him under his knee and lift that up. Again, you will not need lots of power. So you could also use this to direct his punch. So we here, I'm using this and then stepping behind him while getting this down. Yeah. 
So this, this, is, this is also potentially a thing that you can use, but it will really depend on the situation that you're gonna be in. It will depend on the distance that you will have. If you're gonna use this as a stabbing weapon, if you're gonna try to uh, sort of smash him to the side of the head and into the face, or under the chin even, right? So he can be coming forward and I could just go under the chin, which is really powerful. But don't forget that you are starting here. You're gonna have to be controlling that situation from this point. So from here, I'm already judging my distance to stop him. Or that could be a combination of things. He didn't let go, he's still coming forward. So I'm ready to get him again, right? It will depend on the situation. So this could be a very good tool to protect yourself. And if you use it wisely, if you try this with your friends perhaps or with your, with your partner and just to try to see to find the right options for this, how you can defend yourself with this, you will succeed. It's gonna get me, right? And this is just not what I want. So, <laughs> are, you, are you getting it? Yeah. I wrecked his punch. So you could... <laughs> 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 Get the other one. Sorry.